What's going on everybody? Gem Mint here back again with another statue unboxing and review. We have another Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star, but this time it's the You Are Already Dead Gold Deluxe version. Now this is my first time reviewing a Prime 1 kind of paint variant. They've done this a few times. Batman Beyond comes to mind. They did a few Transformers as well where they would have like an all black version, all white, all gold. So I thought this was cool and the fact that it gives you that different pose that we didn't get with the other version that I already did a review on so you guys can check that out as well. But with that being said, let's jump into this review. Alright guys, before we jump into the box, let's take a look at the flyer that it comes with and it's just showing the Deluxe Edition Kenshiro, which we already reviewed and this is just the picture on the back so it has that stance this statue has a different stance this is the you are already dead version but it's just all gold so here we can see just two pieces just like the deluxe edition that we reviewed but it's painted gold here's kenshiro and you can see it has the same great detail and texturing and the gold has like a bronzish feel to it it almost feels like it could be considered a bronze statue rather than gold but uh, yeah, you can see the skin texture, the veins, how they were able to still show that even with just the solid paint, the seven scars on his chest, the muscular beefy neck, which looks slimmer on this one now that I'm looking at it. And then you can see finer details that you can actually move. They're a little bit pliable. The armor looks awesome in gold and it feels like a little Oscar. <laughs> Then we have the base. We're going to get a better look at these guys, the statues that I've just seen for the first time reading the manga. Then we have the bottom of the base. It's heavy. It's huge. Let's get it on the table and let's spin it around a little bit before we do the very quick assembly and get into my thoughts on this piece. So the calligraphy on the bottom sub base, I think is awesome. The destroyed columns, the gold, it still looks like a destroyed column, even though it looks solid gold. Then you have the platform with the intricate calligraphy and designs in the steps and of course you can see the statues in the background let's go ahead and get a closer look at them before we key in kenshiro because you're not going to be able to see him as well all right and here we go man so love how that paint really shines off the muscle definition we'll swing them around get a close look at the back you can see the cracks in there so that they're made of stone and then it's just one key notch with a peg that's going to go into the base. It's got a smooth gold finish on the top. Awesome. And here goes Kenshiro. So you are already dead. This is when he's already punctured your channeling points and just waiting for you to explode. <laughs> Before I give you my final thoughts, guys, a big thank you to that Spider-Man booth for sponsoring the video. Make sure you're following them on Whatnot. If you're on Whatnot and you're buying comic books, you've probably already seen them. They're live every single day. And their sister company, Street Level Hero, has actually stopped listing their variants on their site because they sell out on Whatnot so fast, man. If you haven't yet, use the link in the description to download Whatnot. It'll also give you a $10 credit that you can use towards your first purchase, whether it be with that Spider-Man booth, my Myself or whoever. Alright guys, there we have it. The Kenshiro, you are already dead. This is the deluxe version. They did a couple of different versions. I think eight total because you have this one where he's pointing in the regular paint and you have the gold version. Then you have a version with just this sub base so it doesn't take up as much real estate and it's a little bit more affordable. And they have that in color and gold. And then they have the different pose like you guys saw me review with the other one where he just has the fighting stance. So a lot of different versions. But for a classic manga and anime. Now me, I just got caught up on the fourth deluxe edition, which is the most recent. Volume 5, I believe, comes out later this month or next. And so far, I haven't skipped ahead to watch the anime, which I heard was great and classic. And it feels so authentic, vintage 80s manga and anime vibes. So I'm excited for it. I'm digging it. I'm glad that I got this in. We finally get introduced to his brothers. Now I understand what the next Prime 1 statue is on this line. Rao. I, I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. I just read it. Didn't hear it. Anyway, like I said, Deluxe Edition, gold version. You're already dead. It measures just about 28 inches tall. The depth, again, roughly 16 inches. And the width is about 19 inches. These statues, not sure what they are yet. I'm thinking it has something to do with the fighting style. The two different north and south fists. Uh, that's what I'm guessing at. I just saw them, uh, I believe, in the fourth volume here when he goes to challenge somebody or, or whatever it was, or maybe it was a flashback. I don't recall, but I'm digging this series. 
This statue is cool. I can see collectors in just regular houses having this somewhere. Maybe they don't have a bunch of colorful comic book characters and all that kind of stuff, but maybe they have a classy little bronze setup. But what I really want to see is what it looks like next to the painted one. So let's get them both on the table now. And there we have it guys, the painted version on my right and then the all gold version. Different poses with the same base. You could go one way or the other with like someone having the smaller base, someone having the bigger one. I thought it was cool to have that same base with a different pose though. Uh, I don't know, I got it's gotta grow on me. I gotta get my little Fist of the North Star display together. Uh, maybe I'll put the books with the statues. See if I could fit them in the same PAX cube for now because as most of you guys know, the uh, room's gonna change as we are moving. So big changes coming, but cool to have these in for now. I'm so into the series. Let me know what you think about Fist of the North Star in the comments below. The gold version of the You Are Already Dead Deluxe Edition and the regular version here as well. And I'll leave you with uh, the gold version spinning on the turntable. Stay minty fresh, y'all. Peace.